probably a weird angle. My head looks kind of tiny here. But I'm going to do my halfway gear to our um, gear review. Uh, I'm going to start with some things I really like. And that would be my. Ooh, it's still open, still wet. It's kind of nasty. But my knock bag holds two liters. Sorry, my knock bag. This has been one of my favorite piece of, pieces of gear. It has held up really well, no holes. Um, this is the one that like opens at the top and you just fill it. The only downside about this is um, when you have water that's not flowing, it's really good with like flowing water, but if it's like a puddle of water, it's kind of hard to get it completely full. So you have to do it a couple times. Um, for my bag, I'm still carrying the ULA um, circuit. It has quite a bit of wear on it. I It's still kind of lopsided on me. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of pulling to one side. So I don't know if it's like packing weird or what. Um, I don't know if you saw a while back in one of my videos, one of my load lifters broke. I sewed it with floss and it is still holding, holding. Um, I do have, so this is, I have over a thousand miles on this now. Um, I do have one issue, ooh looks worse now. I have to do this, but I don't know if you can see this. It is my backpack strap, and it is half halfway gone. I thought at first it was a mouse, but I'm pretty sure that it's for my water bottle holder, because I didn't like cinch it down, so it's just been rubbing back and forth, and that might snap. So I'm going to See if I could take some floss and sew that together before it gets worse. I might get rid of this. I really love this. This is the one I made. I like having my water there, but if that's going to cause my backpack to fail more, I'm just going to I'm going to ditch it. The other thing I don't like in my original review, I also don't like the single single strap over the top. It's um, useless. Um, and I still have issues with like the area down here where the um, the frame sits because it's like a loop frame. It still kind of digs into my lower back upper butt area and that can get uncomfortable. Besides that, um, I'm still not a fan of the curve in the back. It just, it feels like it weighs me weird, but I think I'm going to keep the pack it completely falls apart um, so I can switch out some other gear for my tent I have the REI flash air 2 I'm gonna be switching that out if I can very soon to a semi freestanding tent or a freestanding tent so I can easily put it up and I have a couple holes in it which isn't too bad but I've realized the the seams are no longer waterproof or water resistant and it poured the other night and completely leaked everywhere. Um, so, and I have one pool that is bit. So you have two pools you can carry with you and one of them is really bit. Um, besides that, it's been a good tent, but I think I am ready for something smaller, something lighter. I'm gonna try to shave down my weight on my pack as much as I can. And so I think I'm going to get rid of my 20 degree quilt finally, or I don't have a quilt, um, my sleeping bag. And put in, just get like a camp blanket. That way it takes like my, uh, okay, what brand it is. Eco. And I, I really like this. It 
this just takes up so much of my pack that I don't have room for anything else. It's very comfortable. Um, this is a good buy. I just don't like the bulk of it anymore. I want my pack to be smaller. So I'm going to be switching that out. Hopefully with a just a simple camp blanket. I'm going to keep my like five degree um, liner. Sleep with that and then have the camp blanket over it. Um, let's see, a few things I switched out was I got rid of my Brittian pad. Um, and I got a big Agnes blow up pad. It has been, it's been good. It's, uh, it's held up this whole time. I always put something underneath it in the shelter so I don't get any holes in it. The only thing is, it is sometimes extremely loud. Like, and I turn it sounds like I'm like I don't know like on a balloon or something <laughs> it's really loud. Um, the other issue I have is my black diamond um, headlamp I just got a energizer headlamp to replace it but I realized when I is a battery operated one which I can't open right now that one of the batteries, it only fits the, I think it was Energizer, and when I switched out to another brand of batteries, that it would not fit in here, and I don't know if that's something wrong with the battery, something wrong with this, but it just kept dying. And then like, when I needed it, it wasn't there. It would slowly just disappear. So I switched out with the Energizer. Um, the Energizer is a little bit bigger, but works. Um, for my shoes. Sorry, all my stuff's on the other side of the room. Should have got it all over here. I still have these uh, Ultra Gators, which I really like. I didn't start with Gators, but now I know the importance of them because Without them, I get a lot of rocks in my shoes. These are my Olympus 4 Ultras that I switched for my boots. You can tell there's a huge hole in the side. And the side's about to blow out. Same with the side. And these, these fall off within the first, like, 50 miles. These have about, like, 800 miles on them. And I am due for a new pair. Hoping within the next two days I'm going to 